results after tough win or maybe unanimous easy win, if I could say that, with uh, Michal uh, Fialka, I see your hand being hurt. What happened exactly? Uh, this actually happened before the fight. I kind of mm. hit it uh, and after the weigh-ins. I broke my hand eight weeks ago, or I just got the bar out eight weeks ago. I broke it about 16 weeks ago. And uh, after the weight cut, it just ballooned up, just started swelling really bad. I just kind of hit it and got on with business. Uh, I'm happy with the win. Uh, Mi Michal? Is Mi this Michal, yeah. Or Mi I was calling him Michal. <laughs> Michal uh, sounds like an Irish Michal. Uh, uh, Michal uh, is tough, very tough guy, very, very tough. Uh, so I'm happy to get a win over a guy like this, but I always lo like to finish. And as you saw in the second round, I went to finish. Uh, and he survived some really tight chokes. So I should have known. He survived this because you were really trying to, to choke him, and it was a long choke. Yeah, and I was surprised because uh, this is my, my favorite choke and what I'm kind of known for, but I train with a lot of Polish guys, so I should have known he'd be tough, you know, <laughs> they're all hard to finish, so uh, he's a good guy, nice guy. Were you surprised because this was his strategy all the way, like from the first round till uh, till the end of the fight, that he was trying to take you down, to grapple with you, but obviously your reach and, and uh, you were you had the advantage with the reach and, uh, and, and your height, and he was still trying and you were just obviously much better and, you know. Yeah, um, you know, he did some good stuff coming forward with the overhand right and the left hook. Um, I'm still not utilizing my reach correctly. I'm not keeping I'm not keeping people honest where they want to back away from me. So he was able to close this inside my back in the cage a few times and he threw some nice shots. Uh, we got into some lovely exchanges where we were talking about this before. He comes from a very good gym, Berserker. It's a very good jiu-jitsu gym. So we got into some nice grappling exchanges. Some uh, I hit the Kimura throw. He managed to scramble. I managed to scramble back on top. Some nice fun stuff to look back on. Uh, what do you think about KSW? What do you think about the Polish fans here? Uh, it was a little bit weird to fight in Dublin and not be not be getting cheered on more than the other guy. Uh, you know, it was it was crazy. I, I really like. Uh, I, I said this before. I'm a massive fan of Pride. Massive um, my whole life, or my uh, my whole time fighting. Um, and so the way they did the the thing at the start, where they show everyone this from Pride, the big trophies, all this stuff is kind of cool. It's like fighting in Japan. It's cool. Uh, yeah, in the second round, you, you almost had him by Bravo, like uh, by submission. I, I think you're gonna almost finish. What was missing there that you 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 can't finish him? Uh, can I curse? I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, everything felt felt perfect. Uh, he tried to roll to his back. I managed to trap him. Uh, it was tight. I got my squeeze, and then I realized after, like, because I, I know I, this is my favorite choke. Uh, I I knew that I wasn't gonna finish him with it. My arms are starting to get tired, so I released, and then he moved again and got deeper, and I went for it again. And again, like the 15 second squeeze, I'm not getting this release or my arms won't work. So uh, yeah, he, 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 as I said, he comes from a very good team. So they all, I could hear them every time I went to my position for the Dars, they were shouting stuff from Polish from the corner. So I knew that they were waiting for this move, you know, so I've seen my fights before. Okay, so what, what next now? Um, I don't know. I was thinking about uh, asking to fight in Poland in December if they're going to have a big show there. Uh, it looks pretty cool to fight in front of 60,000 people. But uh, I'll go home and let my wife tell me what to do. <laughs> it was a tough time because it's a day or, uh, before actually Christmas. Yeah, I spoke already to my wife about this and she thought, uh, what have you got stuck out there of a young son? So it'd be a bit crazy. But fighting in front of 60,000 people doesn't come up too often. So we'll have to see. <laughs> She's the boss though. So <laughs> she'll dare stroke my ass. <laughs> 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 Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.